What's up, gamer bros? Uh, uh, are you my broskies? Anyway, Flash Game Friday. I don't know what I'm on about. As usual. That was a little bit of eco virtual. Uh, this image is amazing. I'm not quite sure what the emotion is that it's trying to convey, but I, I feel it. Anyway. So I told you guys in the stream title today that there was a Cars-themed Peggle ripoff. And I have to admit, guys, I may have actually... <coughs> I may have been a little misleading with that. It's actually a Cars 2 Peggle ripoff. So we're going to enjoy that today. Uh, I'm going to get Flashpoint open. It's currently a black screen, which is <laughs> unsettling. At best, come on. This would be a shitty time for Flashpoint to stop working. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Let's just get this in here. Yep. Yep. Here it is. It's a Peggle ripoff called Karchinko. And it's based off of, like, the worst Pixar movie. Oh. Oh. Alright, let me know if audio and visuals are good. Seems like the audio is at a decent volume. Can you show Lightning McQueen you have what it takes to be a Karchinko world champion? I'm a bad enough dude. Get all the red bolts on the 20 action-packed levels and unlocked cool collectible extras. Well, that's good. So yeah, this is... You may think, you know, it can't be that much of a ripoff, but no. It really is just Cars Peggle. Extra collectibles. I'm not sure what that means. And I guess you have Super Guide all the time. Except it's like shitty super guide. So I gotta try to get slick tricks, right? Yeah. It, it just comes naturally. Of course. Was that. That was like a little Mario sound. Oh, what the, who the fuck are you? I'm curious. What is, what is the extra? Oh, is it a clip from Cars 2? Am, am I gonna get VOD muted? What is this? I'm clicking on him. What? Is this anything? What is happening? The music just faded out. What the fuck is this? Wait, what the fuck is this? If I click on this guy, the music cuts out. And that's it. That's the bonus. Okay. Good shit. Is this a special ability? Oh, it's multi-ball. Ball splitter. Ball breaker. The physics are so lifeless in this. It's really weird. And I guess there's multiple abilities just out and about. It, it's nice that you have... Uh, oh, Lightning McQueen just drove past. Uh, well, how many balls? I have seven balls left. This is a cakewalk. I gotta do, like, a trick. Yeah, I gotta, like, bounce it off the rim to hit the red one, right? Oh, wait, I keep right-clicking on accident. No! Oh! I right-clicked, and then I clicked, and then it didn't go, and then I clicked again, and it went too far. <gasps> okay. It seems like the tire has, like, a bigger rim. Ugh. Okay, well, let's just hit the bomb. Angle from the bomb into the last one. I like that the ball just disappears when you hit the final one. Yeah, it's like extra- it's like Jupiter gravity. The ball is very heavy. Oh, this is a- those first few levels were cakewalks in comparison. Look at how the, the ball 
the arc of the ball doesn't actually go to where my mouse is. It's like, it sags. That's the Jupiter gravity pulling on it. It's so bad. Also, what are the electricity ones? What do those do? Grapefruit, you said you'd stop playing Peggle. Um, this is Karchinko. This is a very different game. Um... Extra. Oh, right, those are extras. I, I like how the background was, like, it was bright for a little bit, and then it, it turned dark when it was doing the tutorial, and I feel like it, like, glitched. And, and has not turned bright again, like it should have. And the background is just dark for no reason. But maybe that's how it's intended to be, but that feels like a bug. Okay, this is this is so bad, honestly. <laughs> just right, I, I keep trying to style with the last Oh my god, it's lightning! I got lightning McQueen! It does nothing. These are like bugged out. These don't do anything. When I click on this one, the music comes back. That's it. I... Chat, am I like... Am I... Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, something was there for a sec. What? Is it buffering a video? Is it really going to play a clip from Cars 2? Because I, I could get, like, copyright fucked. What is this? Oh, it went full screen? Oh, I hate this. What, what just happened? It just went full screen, and it's black. Uh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Guys, I feel kind of sick. <coughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't, this isn't Lightning McQueen. This isn't Cars 2 Kachinko. I, I, get out of my face. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm starting it up again. I, is it going to delete my progress? Okay, I'm, I'm going straight for the extras again. Because I'm crazy. Okay, so y you can only see this little bar if you go right here. And it's like eternally buffering a YouTube video from like 2008. And I guess you can full screen it here. What the fuck is that symbol? What the fuck is that symbol if it indicates full screen? I don't get it. I can only assume it plays clips from the movie. I'm kind of glad that it's broken, to be honest. Okay. Um, I think it did erase my progress, but I can start from level 3 for some reason. So we're doing that speedrun. Okay, so I'm, n I'm not going for the extras. I'm not going for the extras, bro. Slick. I mean, if I happen to get the extras, then so be it. So be it. Okay, alright, we're gonna start getting some actual sliding action. None of the, like, brick ones... Oh, it's so lifeless. None of these brick ones are, like, red ones. In in Peggle, the blocks are, like, semi-randomized. In here, they're just always the same. And it's so lifeless. Did you see how fast those blocks disappear when there's something on top of them? That's awful. It, like, won't let you slide down properly. This is awful. Hold on, hold on. Yeah! Look at that. I just unlocked the, the Kachiga guy with that slick trick. Okay, now I'm just doing it normal. Just kidding. Just- oh. It really sucks. Can you guys even see my mouse? Yeah, you can. It's so- it's so bad. It doesn't- it doesn't go to where your mouse is. That's such a basic function of Peggle, and they fucked it up. It's so... oh, I can't even get myself in the headspace. 
It's miserable. Unlucky? I didn't even realize I was out of balls. Shit. All right, all right. Now I'm, I'm gonna stop fucking around. We're just gonna go for the red ones. It's gonna slide all the way- What the fuck is with that? They really messed that up. I mean, it's, you know, when you hear like, oh, it's car, cars themed Peggle, you're like, oh, well, maybe it's not a completely blatant ripoff. But it is, but also they fucked up some very basic things. It's like, if you're gonna rip it off, do it properly. I keep right-clicking because, uh, it's just Peggle Instinct. Yahoo! Maybe it turns out Peggle was actually, like, insanely well-designed. And that's why we like it so much. And it's actually very easy to get it wrong. Yahoo! Okay, now I got this. But it's fine, because the ball won't really bounce properly. Okay, at least I got an actual slide. Holy shit. I had to, like, reach for that so much. Oh, yeah. I can play the Harlem Globetrotters music. <clears throat> oh, it's Mater! We were unlocking Mater. Guys, this music is not getting on my nerves or anything. It's Yoda. Look at this, it's Yoda. Oh, that is so lifeless. Who would make something like this? What kind of soulless man? Also, all of the red blocks are right in the center. Everything else is just, like, busy work. I got five balls to do this, too. This is pretty basic stuff. Oh, I didn't get the extra because the ball disappears. Is this a third-party game, or is it an official game from the creators of Cars? I'm pretty sure the creators of Cars were not involved with this game. But the, I'm, I'm sure they got the license. I mean, it's clearly made to advertise the film. It's, there's a whole, like, new set of rules as to why blocks disappear in this one. I, like, just figured it out in Peggle. And now we're switching rules. It's cool. It, did they say 20 levels? I might not survive. And it's like bolts. I love that they... Everything's like loosely car themed. It's bolts and a tire. Good job, guys. You, you did it. Congration. At least the music's kind of schnazzy for a flash game. Hold on. I gotta focus my inner eye here. Okay. Okay. That wasn't it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, get up there! Come on! That was perfect. Oh, I shouldn't have even moved. Come on! Yep! Yeah. I can still get slick style shots, even in Car Chinko. Also, wait, whoops the fuck was that car that I just unlocked? I only got like a glimpse, but I think it was like a horribly deformed car beast. It, it was like a gross thing. Oh, come on. It's so bad that you can't, you can't like point directly at things. It's something I, I took for granted, apparently. I don't know, maybe the flashpoint version of this is like fucked in some way. Also, it gives you 
plenty of balls, it seems. Actually, I'm pretty close to dying here. Does Tomater come and teabag you if you die? I could probably arc it through there with the Jupiter Gravity Ball. Right? Uh, not quite. Sad. Yoi! <gasps> Alright. Like, the basic premise is still there. So it's not all bad. It's just maybe the worst way you could possibly do it. Extra locked. Oh no. I didn't get to see that one. New high score. Wait, what? Has it been saying that every level? When you hit the first peg, it says new high score? Is that real? Am I dreaming? Or is that the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard? Alright, well, you know... Y you really can't take away the Peggle godliness. Honestly. It's not the sort of thing that goes away. Like, at least they were able to calculate the whole, like, super guide thing. But even then, it would be nice if it didn't, like, you didn't have to stop for it to show you. And also, sometimes it just doesn't show you. <laughs> New high score! You got two points! Like, you say that at the end of the level. Am I crazy? Or is that, like, ridiculous? This is, like, the... The anti- anti-venom to uh, my, my Peggle Trick Shots video that I uploaded just today. Oh, that was good. So, let's talk Cars 2. I've never seen it. It's like a spy movie. From what I've heard, it's the plot is Tow Mater, the tow truck, becomes a spy and commits, like, international espionage, right? Ball splitter. It, even the multi-ball is worse, and multi-ball was already like the worst part of Peggle. That was like the worst designed one. That or like flower. You know, I remember thinking Cars 1 was not terrible uh, when I was a little baboo, also slick. But, uh, yeah, now as a grown-up. And I was, I was probably like a teenager when that came out, so I wasn't too young. But I was like, this is fine. But uh, now I think it's kind of not fine. Whoa, slick! That was the first, like, actual satisfying slide we've got. Extra unlocked. I can't wait to see what amazing Cars 2 character I got! I can look at a JPEG of them! A really small one! Oh. Someone says Car Pope? Is that real? Is there a Car Pope? Is he bulletproof? Holy shit, is the Pope-mobile in the Cars universe bulletproof? Come on, oh! This is the last ball. Slick. I need to look up the Pope car. Oh my god. Oh my god, there is a bulletproof one! They literally did the- Oh! Oh! They did the joke that I said. The, the arrested development bit. <laughs> this brings- this brings into question so many aspects of the Cars universe that just make no sense. It- would this not feel weird to them? Would this not be like a weird sensation to have another car inside of you? They're acting- they have a very DreamWorks-esque expression going on there, and I'm not sure if it's like satisfaction, or if it's like a little bit of like, like they're trying to like hold him up, I don't know. This is weird. 
I don't like it. And all the implications that a car pope brings to the table. Holy fucking shit. How did I not know that existed? He ate the Pope. <laughs> oh my god, there's a World War II Jeep, too. Implying a car Hitler and Holocaust. And car Jesus died on a cross for car sins. That's pretty insane. That's like, a, the bulletproof glass around the Pope is a bit of a dark joke. For cars. I'm sorry, uh, can you guys just go, like, talk amongst yourselves? I'm busy looking at pictures of the Pope and or cars, too. Oh my god. You can buy a little toy of them. You can have a little, like, vroom vroom, it's the Pope! It's the Pope car and his bulletproof friend! <laughs> that's good, that's good. Okay, Karchenko, let's go. I'm losing my sanity. Why, why is it the Eiffel Tower? Is that a place in the movie? Oh my god, oh my god. That was good. You know, if nothing else, they didn't fuck up the, uh, the, like, bonus bucket. It does, in fact, go from left to right. Swing your bonus bucket. Starting to get the hang of it. Oh, this is, this is just miserable, though. It, it really is just miserable. What little enjoyment I get from it is just, like, memories of Peggle. Having a better time playing Peggle. Slide? Oh, the, oh, oh, that awful slide! God! Somebody says, how would JFK's assassination work out in the Cars universe? Well, now we gotta look up JFK Car Cars. JFK Car Cars. Pixar. Nothing. Nothing has been done on this. Uh, we do have a just horrifying image. I don't know what it is. It's definitely partially the expression, but also the fact that there's, like real human people right next to it for, like, that contrast. I would not want to see this thing coming towards me on, like, a dark road at night. Or, you know, a day road, it would also be scary. I would run for my life if I saw this thing, even in the, in the middle of the day. At noon. Unlucky. <sighs> okay. Okay. That was a lot better. Sorry guys, I was too focused on getting the extra. Because I'm really- Oh my god! I'm really thrilled about getting these extras. The free ball plays are still the best part of it. Get the extras. Get the bonuses. I want to look at a picture of Sally from Cars. I'm not doing too hot, actually. I really need to think here. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't terribly thinky. Oh no, I already missed Sally's extra. Unbelievable. 
I am in hysterics. I want the tramp stamp car. That's real, by the way. Car has a tramp stamp. That's in the movie. For kids. For kids. There's also a part where the, the two, the two, I'll never shut up about this. The two girl cars in the audience, they flash their headlights at, at Lightning McQueen as though they're flashing their titties. It's, uh, it's quite a stellar joke. Implying that, like, cars not only have a concept of, like, titillation, but also that they have, like, similar sex organs to humans. <laughs> like, do cars nurse? Do cars nurse their young? This is the shit we need to know. Are there any car- hold on. Are there any cars in cars with titties? Because there's, like, implied ass? What is the exhaust pipe in this whole deal? <laughs> okay, I'm, sorry, I'm looking up titty cards. I'm gonna do an incognito widow, window. Uh, widow, that was weird. Cars. Pixar cars with boobs. It's actually, they, we actually got a picture of the two girl cars that flash their lights. This is apparently well recorded on the internet. Uh... Sorry, uh, this is very important. There's no Pixar car cars with boobs. Are you kidding me? You're joking. Hold on, with tits. Let's look up tits. Nothing! What the fuck? Okay, well, that's cool. The chassis was like an exoskeleton to protect their internal organs. You know, guys, I hate to bring this up, but can we talk about the scrapped Frankenstein scene? And that sounds like such a joke, but I swear on, like, God and everything that is holy, it's real. There's a scrapped scene from Cars 1 where Lightning McQueen, he, like, wakes up. I guess, I guess it's a dream sequence, so we don't know if that's actually legit, but they, like... It's like Cars... Er, <laughs> Cars McQueen, Lightning McCars, wakes up after he's been, like, exhausted on the road or whatever. And it's fucking, like, Tomator being like, Hey, we took your engine out and we put it inside the, the hull of this other car because your chassis was damaged or some shit. And, and then Lightning McQueen, like, looks in the mirror and he's like, ah! And he's like a horrible, like, junker car. And then he, like, wakes up and it was, like, a dream. But does that imply that, like, that's how it works? And you can do that? I, I guess I just- I'm having a little trouble understanding here. Holy shit, that was godlike. That was such an amazing shot. There was a car in Cars 2 with- hold the fucking phone, there's no way! Some, I believe a car pope, but somebody says there's a, a car with headlight eyes? Pixar Cars Headlight Eyes. Oh my god! What the fuck? It looks photoshopped! This is some serious Uncanny Valley shit. Like, I know when Cars came out, everybody was like, why are the eyes on the windshield and not the headlights? Because that's the, like, common... I mean, you look at any car and you get the little, like, pareidolia with the pair of eyes. Ironically. Pareidolia, you like that? But no. 
No, this car has to exist. This has to be a thing. That's cool. And she's like surrounded by headlights. So how does it work? There's like, they're just begging us to ask questions about this. They're begging us to ask what the fuck is up with her eyes. By surrounding her with headlights. I don't even understand. It literally looks like somebody photoshopped two like bloodshot eyes onto her. She has eyes on her tits. She harvests eyes. So many questions, so few answers. Is that gonna- I wonder if that bomb's actually gonna destroy everything. Okay, well now I don't need to worry. 100% clear, what do I get? Super awesome. And <laughs> this crusty fuck. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. Like, please somebody draw, like, a human analog of that. Where it's just a chick with eyes where her tits should be. You know, we could put that in the thumbnail and then they could never get us for, for it being lewd content, because it's just eyes. We got something against eyes, we can't post eyes. I, full disclosure, I will not make that the thumbnail. <laughs> That's just inviting trouble. But really, we could. This is not going well. Hey, alright. <laughs> My eyes are down here. We like to joke around. I don't know. I'm honestly, like, mentally exhausted with the whole cars discussion. I got one ball to do all of this. This is not looking good. Oh, it's just so, it's so droopy. This is what I can only describe as a flaccid, like, line of sight for the ball. God damn it. Unlucky. They don't have the balls to call you a scrub. You fucked up. I'm Lightning McQueen. Eat my ass. He's played by Owen Wilson, right? I didn't know that for ages. Probably because I don't- I don't really give a shit about Owen Wilson. <laughs> that little sound is from Mario, by the way. That's the sound that it makes when you die in Mario. I swear to god. Oh, these are some dank plays. Lose a level once, fucking destroy it the next time. This is a good level. I like the structure of this. Why was there never a Peggle level like this? Why did they never do this? Maybe because it's easy as shit. Oh my god, the, what is the point of the multiple balls if they just... They, they're just right next to each other. They don't... It adds nothing, it's just... It's basically making the one ball bigger. I really don't get some of the, like... Some of the leaps... They've made. Leaping lizards. This music's really starting to get on my dick, too. Wasn't there, like, a car that, like, took LSD, too? There was, like, a... There was, like, a stoner, like, psychedelic drugs car... ...in... in the first movie, right? Or was it more just, like, generic, like, hippie car? I think it was more just hippie. Also slick. Oh my god. This is complicated. There's only four red pegs in this entire level. Also, I can't get over the fact that every time you hit a single peg, it says new high score. Like you just did something. Oh! 
Ooh. When's the when's the fucking Karchinko highlight video? Yeah, bitch! What the hell? Watch, I'm gonna bounce it off the bomb. I'm crazy. It's gotta be perfect. Oh, it's Doc. Oh, thank God it's Doc. There's no Peggle Masters either. Instead of the Peggle Master, it's just the logo for Cars 2 in Disney Pixar. <gasps> Okay, look, this multi-ball isn't even gonna do anything. It's fucking useless. They both go shooting off in the same direction. It's it's worse than actual multi-ball. Somehow. They have accomplished this crazy task. I might lose. I didn't get the triple ball! Okay. Doc dies? What? Hold on. Cars death scene. I'm gonna look it up. Cars Pixar death scene. Cars 2 kill count! Oh. Doc. Oh. Oh, there's multiple deaths. Oh, I'm getting a fucking ad. This is insanity. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give, give me just a second. We're getting this up here. I'm still in incognito. Oh, hold on. Wait, where the fuck... Streamlabs is... Streamlabs is wigging out on me. What the fuck is this? I can't turn off the, the music for the game. This is in, like, potato quality. What the fuck is this? He's getting, like, pumped full of gas. I don't understand what's happening. Please don't sue me, Pixar. Oh my god. This is that ugly fucker that I unlocked. They're like torturing him. Are they gonna kill him? Oh my god, they're gonna kill Red Torque Red Lime. Kill him. Kill him. What the fuck? It like exploded him? What the fuck kind of tone were they going for in this movie? They like explode him and then they show him like burning up in the reflection of a picture of Tomater. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. What is it with the shark? What is it with the baby shark? I don't get what that is. They, oh my- we're really getting this fucking commercial? Really? Like, actually? You're fucking joking, I thought these were long gone. I haven't seen one of these in like 10 years. Holy fucking shit. Cars 2 kill count. Oh my god! The dude gets like crushed! There's guns! What?! Oh my fucking god, they like sent it as like a message. It's like the horse head in the bed.
Okay, yeah, cars can't swim. Are they on like an oil rig? How, how do cars make an oil rig? Oh my god! Quite a lot for a kid's film, by the way. There's a lot of like blowing up cars. Oh, what the fuck is this? It was like a shot from B movie. What the fuck? What? That was like a massacre. That was a massacre. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking. That's like blood. It's like gasoline is a. Oh my god. So that was a spy car. Oh my fucking god. Does Toe Mater kill someone? Wait, hold the fucking phone. Does Toe Mater kill someone? He did what in his cup? What? What is this? What are they- I, I can't hear what they're saying. Okay, this is the torture scene. What is this? Oh my god. That was like a comical death. Oh my god. Oh. I think that guy just got like crushed. Oh, there, there's multiple people get- Oh my god. I keep saying people. They are cars, but like, they're anthropomorphic. Is that like a battleship? I don't want to watch Cars 2 now. Wait, what the fuck was <laughs> Okay, thank you, Leo Blackfire, for that. Okay, sorry, I was playing a Flash game at, at one point today. At a certain point in time today, I was playing a Karchinko Peggle video game. Oh, that was a good shot right there. We didn't even see Doc Houston's death, which allegedly also happened. Wait, oh, what? The game? G game? Game? The game just froze. I can't do anything. Um, let's look at this abomination. Uh, it, okay, that fixed it. I just had to look at the extras. Oh, no? No, it isn't. It- oh, I so was hoping. Is the ball stuck? Oh, the ball's right there! Holy shit! The ball is right- What?! Oh! <laughs> I- I didn't click, I just pointed at it and it went shooting off at a thousand miles an hour! What the fuck was that? I didn't do anything! That, it just at that exact moment, it decided to just zoom out of there. Okay, game. All right, game. That's some cool crack cocaine you're smoking there. What happens if we end it with a multi-ball? Do both balls disappear? No. Oh, great. We got that car. Are we going to unlock the horrific, like... Headlight eyes car. Oh, this one's the logo. Look at it. It's the logo. You can see at the top. It's shameless. Woo! You know, I had to get a jump start to my car just today. It, I, it did the classic thing where I tried to turn it on and it went <laughs> And apparently my battery's kind of fucked, which is fine. I mean batteries aren't that expensive But you guys will need to be uh, You know Just cranking out the views on my videos to pay for that So I expect all of you to watch the Lark Souls Supercut ten times, right? 
That's your homework. On my desk by Monday. You hear me? I was unlucky. As long as it's a battery and not a starter. Well, I've had to get my starter replaced several times, actually. It's been quite a pain in the ass. So they have to, like, order the part from, from overseas or whatever. Not overseas. From ages ago. Miles away. I think the consensus we're getting is that, uh... Doc Huey Louie is, uh... Already dead by the time Cars 2 begins. At least it isn't an alternator. Well, I've actually had to fix the alternator, too. Well, get it fixed. I've had a long history of uh, dealing with sh shitty car problems. What was with that? Those blocks were like pure blue for a second. What is this? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? The textures didn't load in. I am baffled. How did they fuck it up so bad? The ball- it's still working. It's still working, I just can't see shit. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, I literally just noticed there's a fever meter at the bottom. It just, like, doesn't do anything. It- I mean, it's building up, but, like, it's so not exciting. It doesn't draw your attention at all. I will try the extras, but I want to try beating this level. This is the kill screen in Pac-Man. That sounds about right. Oh, is that the extra meter? Oh, it might very well be. Oh, it, right, and then Lightning McQueen drives by when you do get the extra. Okay, so I still didn't understand. We try level. Okay, it's still like this. We're close. I think we're on the last level. I, actually, did I beat all the levels? I don't under- I don't understand. What the fuck? I don't get it. I'm just gonna try to brute force the level. I had one more to go, right? This isn't... Maybe, I, I was thinking maybe it's like, I beat the game and then it just didn't have an ending program, so it just went to a glitch level. I'm gonna give this one more solid attempt and then we will ditch this game. I think we got the, the intended experience. It's invisible because it's like a spy game. It's actually a very cohesive design. Okay, alright, well. That's just fucking horrible, isn't it? Can I... Please. The last level is just busted. It's just fucked up! Okay, alright. A few extras. Let's look at Lightning McQueen. L Lightning Mean. Seriously, none of these work. Awful. Uh, just miserable. Well, that was just the essential, quintessential Cars experience. It worked, it got you to watch, it got you to want to watch Cars 2. I don't want to watch Cars 2. That was a joke. <laughs> Good game. Let's move on. Okay, this is something I've actually been looking forward to. Feed the head. This got suggested to me after, uh, oh, come on, it's not centered right. After I played Windowsill, I didn't know this game existed, but it's another game by the same guy. 
let's do this. This should be good. I, I really, oh, I have no idea what this is all about. I've seen a couple screenshots, but I assume it's just weirdness. Okay. Okay, all right. I just got a little weird feeling. Oh. <laughs> There's a little camera in there. Well, this is very windowsill-esque already. All right. Okay. All right. The eye still follows me, even though it's out. Can I pop it back in? Go right back. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. I'm turning up the volume a bit. Let me know if that's a good sound level. All right. Oh, hey. He's got he's got more. That's the Oh, there's a lot of like similar stuff in this game. Like this is sort of like the pipe walking around in the green room. Also these noses. <laughs> oh, it's literally a pipe. It's literally a pipe. Lovely. I'm turning it down a slight amount. And then you like yank out the flower. No. Oh. I, I hate that I can make him cry. I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Eat. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it, it, hold on to that. Yes. <laughs> There's like a, a foot. There's feet in here, like elephant feet. I'm feeding it. I'm doing the game. I'm doing what the game says. Nope. Oh. And now he's got a bunch of fucking legs coming out of his head. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Oh. I can make it sort of zoom out. Whoa, that's jank. Oh, it's stuck now? Um, it's stuck. Um, the ball is stuck now. Oh. Wait, let me- oh, what? Let me get past there. I, I, like, let go of it and then it phased through. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, there was another ball. No, I think I just undid everything. Fuck. Oh, wait. Wait, I took. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Read the. Oh. Alright, move. Yeah! Yeah! When you're walking. This is majestic. Holy fucking shit. There's hurdles! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, really? Wait, this is a real game. Wait, how do I keep them moving forward? How did I clear that one? I'm very confused. Here we go. Oh, I really fucked that up that bad. I get it. So you need to hold the mouse cursor on top of them to make them run. Click to make them jump. Slightly esoteric controls, but I just figured it out. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna eat this. Oh? Oh, it's a new film reel. <laughs> eat this. Just a green filter? Oh. 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 We're gonna eat memory food. This is like exactly as zany as windowsill. Oh, look at that. My, my points. 
are now fish food. <laughs> this is living up to my expectations and and much more. Holy fucking shit. I love it. Whoop. It's Insane Aquarium. This changed into Insane Aquarium. New orb. New orb for you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, what the fuck was that? Oh! <laughs> Hello there! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, it's one of those little rock things. This is in windowsill. Oh my god. Come on, worm. Does it go any further? Oh, I'm trying to click the worm, but the worm is very resistant to my clickage. It's like a little snake. A little snake boy. Oh, it's contagious. <laughs> oh, oh! Excuse the fuck out of me. Uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just heard a falcon. Okay. Oh. Is that it? I think that was it. Okay. Wow. Well, I think... Maybe there's other shit to do. Or maybe that was really it. That was zany as hell, regardless. Okay, eat this. Eat it and yeet it. Nothing's working anymore. I wonder if there's speed runs of this game. I, I would assure you, honestly, that there are. Oh wait, yeah, just eat it with that. Eat it with your nose. <laughs> I like that he, it's, it seems optional, but there's a nose that helps him eat. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, I think it's just, it goes in a cycle. Maybe there's a couple tiny things I missed, but overall, I think I got it. Me main message. Alright, well. That was Feed the Head, ladies and gents. That was awesome. Big fan. And I didn't lose my fucking mind like I did with Karchenko. Alright, that was pretty quick, though. That was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. So! Uh, now, we have a game that I'm sure... A lot of people will recognize, but I'm not sure any among us have spared a single thought for in the last, like, ten years. Hold on. What? Projector. This is actually, I guess this is not running in Flash. This is running in a program called Projector. This is... Codename Kids Next Door, Ice Creamed, which is kind of a gross name in retrospect. I played the shit out of this. I don't know about you guys. Oh, it literally just made a farting sound. That was like the uh-oh stinky sound. Attention number two. The KND have been captured 
and are being held in different locations throughout the ice cream factory. Use your hover pack to maneuver your way past the mashing machines, hot fudge blasts, and ice spewing clown heads to rescue your teammates. Good luck! Fun fact, this is real. Number one in Codename Kids Next Door has the same voice actor as Joseph Joestar, young Joseph Joestar in part two, in the dub, the English dub. Rescue your teammates, golden ice cream cones. Okay. Wow. We're playing the feud. No trespassing, this means you. Is it, is it gonna make a farting sound every time there's a screen trend or a screen transition? So this is a surprisingly like detailed and like well-made flash game considering what it is. I'm just kinda fly around and avoid shit, okay, or not. Wait, oh. What the fuck? Oh, there's like something in my way that was bumping me out. So this is a very nostalgic game for me. Cause it's good. And I liked Kids Next Door when I was younger. I liked number four. He was my favorite, which only now do I realize was like a total scrub pick. And that the only true option is number two. Or actually, wait, was that number three or five? And I honestly don't remember. But four was like the Australian dude. Oh yeah. I get major nostalgic vibes. Uh, is it a bit loud? Seems a bit loud. Okay, yeah, number number three was baby. Um, is this like a secret? These totally look like secret zones to go up to. Also, those ice... Those icicles had no hitbox. When they were actually growing on the ceiling. Only when they were falling. Yahoo! <laughs> okay. Okay. It's kind of like V, the, the like structure of this game. How am I supposed to avoid those? Giant clown head. It was active for like a second. These are like creative hazards too. Oh my fucking god, okay. Spoke too soon. Oh god, number four is gonna get fucking like crushed to death. With like horrific spikes. This is actually not very easy to control, I must say. You bounce quite a bit, too. You bounce off of things. <laughs> oh, let me through. What the fuck is this? Wait, what? I I'm facing the wrong way and I can't go through? Okay, okay. That was cool. Department of Toppings. Yay. Slippery when creamy, it just said. No comment. This is, uh... This just seems like a repeat of past... Disasters. Past, uh... Obstacles, I mean. Okay. Oh my god. This is, this is too zany. Oh, I remember the cherry room. I remember hating the cherry room. So I sucked at it. This is a total nostalgia trip for me, at least. I don't know about you guys. You know, it's it's weird what a little bit of, like, cool, distinctive art direction in a game can do, even when it's a Flash game being played by a young Beb. Oh, this one's an actual puzzle. I guess it's it's necessary to hit that button to get through, so... Not really that much of a puzzle. Yahoo! Great! The bad guys are on ice! Wait, that was really it? That was so short. Okay. Well, that was that. That was fun, for what it was. Very short game, though. Holy shit. Um, what else? What should we do next? 
I think we should slow it down. Let's stick with the game for a little while. Um, oh, you know what I want to do, guys? I want to do golf physics. We're going to go from all this exciting shit to a fucking golf game. That I played when I was a young lad. Hold on. Uh, I need to set it to capture flash. Oh, but it's just not doing that. We can look at JFK car cars Pixar. Hold on, guys. Sorry about this. The Streamlabs is being fucky. You know, Streamlabs crashed entirely just earlier today. That was fun. Here we go. There is another Kids Next Door game, and I actually have it. That one's called Operation Startup. I'll play that another time, though. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to play something actually quite enjoyable now, and uh, if I remember correctly, this one's quite enjoyable. Um... Uh, full course? Yeah. There are three kinds of walls. Green, bouncy, orange, very bouncy, pink, barely bouncy. And think there's gravity, so aim accordingly. What's the think there for? What? Oh, this game has fucking bumpin' music, by the way. It's probably, like, default, like, loops from, like, uh... I don't know, like, one of those, like, automated, like, music programs. From, like, what do they call it? Guitar Shop? What the fuck is that? Garage Band. It's probably a default Garage Band loop, but it still slaps. This is, like, burned into my head. Oh, this is- it's all coming back. Fuckface is doing well. Look at this! Look at that! They, they, they got like the LCD style, they did it with the numbers, but then this is just fucking like Adobe Arial or whatever. Alright. What did I say? Guitar Shop? Instead of Garage Band? No joke, guys. Oh yeah, by the way, it's got gravity gimmicks, because it's a flash game. Uh... Eee... Uh... No joke, when I first heard Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger by Daft Punk, I thought, oh, that's the golf physics song. Just because I hadn't heard, like, dancey, like, funky music before. I was like, oh, that's the song from golf physics. I was like, Golf Physics must have used this track. And then I went back and listened to it, and I was like, oh, it's they're nothing alike. Cool. Uh, hey, can I- Fuck! Am I doing this wrong? Did I just fall through the world? I think I just fell through the world. I'm just gonna do it directly. Oh, okay. I think I just fell through the world. How does that keep happening? Okay, there we go. I was just being a spaz about it. I will do Nitro games. That'll be a full stream on its own, I think. Ah! This is such a weird tune. I'm doing horrible, too, by the way. I'm glad there's no, like, fail state in golf. It's just you can do awful at it, <laughs> and that's, that's about how far it goes. You get a bad score, but who gives a shit? Gravity isn't only downwards or upwards. Yeah, I played Mario Galaxy. I know. There was a there was a website, I've talked about it before, but it was called flashphysicsgames.com. I think it's still up. But it's, it's changed a little bit. But that's where I used to get my Flash game fix. Oh, Slurk. Ah. 
Okay. This is kind of like Karchenko in that the ball doesn't go exactly where I shoot it. Okay. I need to, like, lob it. Ugh. I'm, like, turning my head sideways. Come on. If I aim it too high... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, if I aim it too high, it also won't work. It's got good, like, waiting music, too. Magnetic fields. Like those things in the gravity wells in uh, Badlands, which we just recently played. Okay, okay, okay. These seem hard to manage. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I need to like ride the gravity. No? There we go. There's 18 holes in this game. <sighs> if the ball is never stopping, click the reset ball button. Would you like use that to like mulligan a bad shot? Essentially? Fuck. I wanna like slick this whole thing. Tripped me out for a second. I was like, what? Shit. Fuck. You can't putt the ball when you're, uh, when you're moving. Spongebob game called Boat Across. See, I recently found an old Spongebob game called Bikini Bottom or Bust that I used to play, where you're like popping bubbles. I, I wonder if I played Boat Across. Cause I got a similar like burst of nostalgia when I found the Spongebob one. I was like, whoa. I'll search it in Flashpoint. There's, oh my god, there's like 10 million Spongebob games. There is a game just called Spongebob Fart. And you're gonna have to look, you're gonna have to look that up for yourselves if you want to see what that one is, folks. We will not be playing that one. Deep Sea Leap, Deep Sea Surgeon, Deep Sea Smash Out. There's all these deep sea ones. There's boating school. Sponge. I'm gonna search SpongeBob boat. No, I don't think it's in here. I don't think it's in here. Uh, boosters will speed up your ball to unimaginable speeds. Guys, don't even try to imagine how fast the ball is going here. You literally won't be able to know. Oh my god. Wait, are you sure that was unimaginable? Or it, that just seemed like it was really fast. That seemed like very reasonable speed. I'm imagining it just goes, yeah, it just goes fast. Yeah, okay. What's this? What? Oh.
Go. Okay. Why was there a bouncy thing behind the level exit? Was that to prevent you from, like, clipping through? You fucking, like, dire dire dock skip your way through that shit? Take the elevators. Oh, I remember this being annoying as shit. I'm gonna be honest. I remember this specific mechanic being really annoying. Because of that, you fall out of them. You just fall right out of them. Because look at this! I'm gonna fall out of it again. Fucking hell! Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try to sling myself. No, that didn't work. Yeet! Yeah. Come on! Yeah! Oh my god, that actually worked! Holy shit. That was brilliant. Eee! Come on. Come on. Live. Live. No, go through. Go through. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. What the fuck? This level is messed up. Um, I don't know what effing Meteors is. Is it a Flash game? I'm like furious at golf physics. Right now. I, 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 I don't have control over the ball. I, I might check that out. I'll, I'll look it up. I think I might need to sling myself here, too. Because otherwise it's just not gonna happen, right? I mean, I'm never gonna get any, like, lateral movement. In fact, am I soft-locked? Hold on. Reset ball. Mmm! That was my mulligan moment. Okay. I see. It's good that the game comes with a uh, anti-soft lock button. Black and white bars have their own gravity. Okay. I remember these being pretty weird. Oh man. Oh, and we're in like, space. So there's- oh, there's like zero gravity elsewhere. Yahoo! Aha! Um, where the fuck is the exit? What the hell? This feels like it could be a crazy speedrun level, you know? Like just launch towards the exit. Oh shit. You know? Eee. I'm playing it safe though. I'm not getting a good score, but I don't care. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hold on, I need to slick it. I need to at least try. Okay, I need to shoot it way higher up. Hold on. This is gonna look so cool. It's gonna look so cool when I get it. And then everyone will clap, and Obama was there. Okay. Oh, this is it. Yeah! Yeah! Slick! I did that on my first try! Oh, you know, I didn't even notice there is a zoom button. 
The hole may not always be powered. What? Oh, this is an awful lot. All of a sudden. This is what the fuck? Zoom function. Oh my god, it's going absolutely nuts. Oh wait. Go, go, go that way. Fuck. Oh yes. I lived. Oh, you're joking! Look at that! Look at that. It's gonna drop me back all the way! Mm. Mm. Okay, just carry me over there. Carry on my way with- It doesn't let me sit there and just sit. And just live. Look at this. Oh. Hold on, I can do it if I have, like, perfect reaction time. And the thing is, I don't. I don't have perfect reaction time. Mm. Okay, come on, just just put it over the edge. Get it up there and then get it over the edge, you fucking scum! Oh god damn it! Be this is kind of miserable. This is kind of miserable. Um, this sucks. I've had so many strokes today, and I'm still breathing. There we go. Phew! Oh, look at that. There's the jape hole. <laughs> I wanted to do it. I wanted to cut it close. I wanted to cut it close for the fans. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Touch the buttons with the ball to make new fields. Do it in the right direction or you'll run out of time. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Okay. Oh, I see. It's all become perfectly clear. Okay, but I do I do want to get over there. So that's, you know. That's a goal. That's a goal of mine. Oh, you can just scroll wheel to zoom out. Oh, look at that! Oh, that was slick! That was so slick! Um... Wait, what is that? I don't even know what that is. What is this light? Oh. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Mmm, the reset ball button may help you a lot. That sounds good. That sounds good and nice and fun. we got here. Oh, this looks like it sucks. Oh, wow. I actually managed to clear it, though. I, for one, am impressed. Oh, my God. Ocha!
This is taking so much of my concentration. Oh my god. It really is Mario Galaxy. It really is. I love that it's like, down is black and white is up. And then it's like a gradient for all the other directions. Ah! Ah, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ah. Ooh, ah, ee. Oh, that's actually really satisfying. It was always really satisfying in Mario Galaxy, long jumping around tiny planets. Because you sort of spin around them very freely. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to, like, escape to the void of space here. Look at that, you can use the curvature. The curvature of the Earth. this instrument is, but I like it, I guess. Also, fuck. You know, I, I started playing a little more Sekiro on my own time. And, man, I was- I still- it's just so annoying. Such an annoying game. I got past the, like, double ape fight on my own, but then I started fighting the owl dude again. And I, I was like, fuck it, and I downloaded an easy mod. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought that was just the godlike run. It was almost. But it went, it, it went just off course. Where's it gonna respawn me, though? Wait, what? Reset ball. Oh, back here? Really? But yeah, I downloaded in easy mode. And I, I... I feel no remorse. But then the thing is, I, uh, I tried to turn it off. And it's just, like, it's stuck on. Like, I removed the mod folder, but the, like... It basically just made it so you don't take, like, half a health bar to every hit. But this kind of sucks. These gravity wells are not, are not very, uh, they're, exactly where they will put you is not terribly clear, even though they seem to have arrows. Okay. This, it takes a hella long time. The death barrier is very far away. They seem to have a delayed effect on the ball, too. Are you guys noticing this? Sometimes they, it doesn't affect the ball until it's, like, way past it. I'm, I'm very confused. Oh, wait, wait, for real? Wait, for real, though? Wait. This is an actual soft lock. Holy shit. The reset function has caused a soft lock. Oh, thank god. Can it please respawn me in a real place next time? Really? This is- this is some cool flash game fuckery. This is awful. This is miserable. It, is it changing, like, every time, too? It feels like it's changing every time. Oh my god, does it really need to move the camera? If it didn't do that, I would be able to do it, but it moves the camera every time. This is awful. Exit course. Oh god. 
Resume last. Well, that kind of sucks. I'm not going to play through the whole rest of this game just to get up to that. I don't know, I don't- the thing is, I don't know what front nine and back nine and, like, asshole nine means. Oh, can we just do this? What level was I on? Wait, I can just do this. Anyway, yeah, I downloaded in easy mode, because, I don't know, I just don't find tedium to be fun. So much of that game, I, like, I beat the double ape fight on my own, like, merit, and the sense of achievement was just nothing. It was just absolutely nothing. It, it was so, it's such an unsatisfying game, and the only thing that you're gonna unlock is more obnoxious fake challenge, basically. I don't know, it really demotivated me to, like, ever even try playing the game again. Or if I did, I mean, if I wanted to stream it, I would just use the easy mode. I do not care. Chat can make all the automatic easy jokes they want, but... I, I literally have zero remorse about it. Like, it's fine that it, like, got an award, because it is a- it is, it's a beautiful looking game. But man... It seems like there were a lot of design missteps, I don't know. There's a lot of things that turn me off about it. Like, I feel like- oh, there's a switch up there. I feel like if... I even, like, liked the world more, or, like, the characters... Then I would feel more motivated to, like, grind out the obnoxious difficulty, but... Oh, that's fucked. <clears throat> like, it would have cost zero dollars and risked zero creative integrity to put some sort of easier mode into Sekiro. I'm not saying that- I'm not, like, one of those people who's, like, campaigning that they should have done that. I'm just saying it literally would have, like, removed nothing from the experience. For people who want to get a boner off of accomplishing something. You know? It was like, I got to Fountainhead and I was like, I just feel bitter because I know it's- there's just gonna be more... Like, reused bosses... That are just full of annoying shit. Oh, right. We're do by the way, we're doing this. I'm playing the rest of the levels this way. Double monkey fight was particularly annoying too. It's just it, so much of it is just running away and waiting for the opportune moment. I don't know. It just makes it all tedious rather than enjoyable. Like you think like oh fast fun paced. <laughs> I know what I said. Fast fun paced ninja fights. You know, explosive energetic shit. But it's really just a slow slog. Sometimes, I mean, it's... I don't know. It, what would have been... I posted this on Twitter, but what would have been lost from the game if spirit emblems just restored at bonfires? Or idols, or whatever. Like, spell uses in Dark Souls. I don't know. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is pretty fucking annoying. It's especially... this is framed as a golf game. So you're, you're really not supposed to do a lot of strokes. Oh my god. 
But yeah, so thus ends my essay on how I didn't enjoy playing Sekiro at all when I tried going back to it. And it sucks because the first part of the game was so enjoyable. It just felt like every boss had like twice as much health as they should have. I don't know, it just, it felt very pandering to difficulty, and I know the guy, like, the creator of Miyazaki has been like, it's never been about difficulty, it's been about making a blah 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 world. And it's like, yeah, I mean, you, you can lie. You, you certainly can lie. I mean, I can lie too. That's a cool lie. Maybe, you know, he said that about Dark Souls, but not Sekiro, I don't know. That feels pretty disingenuous, though. At the very least. Look at this shit. This sucks. trying to do here? What is this? Wait, what? Wait, what? How does this work? What? Wait, literally how am I supposed to do this? What? Chat, help me understand here. Oh, I have to stop here. I was like, excuse the fuck out of me? Somebody says, what is, what is, and they added me with this, so this is a legitimate question. What's the point of making a world if no one is willing to slog through all the bill crap to experience it? I, what does that mean? What do you, is that, a, is that against or for the Sekiro sucks premise? I don't, and I'm definitely not saying it sucks. It's a beautifully animated game. Beautifully animated game. A lot of questionable decisions. Th that leave me much less motivated to grind through it than Dark Souls. Like, when I was fighting Artorius in the, in the Dark Souls 1 DLC, I, like, happily was sitting there getting my ass whooped by him for, like, a day before I managed to get through it. But, like, I get annoyed by, like, fighting, you know, standard ninja dude number 325 pretty fast in Sekiro. When is this ever... The ball's never gonna stop here. I wonder if it can just, like, uh... Just hover in midair, but on the seam between those two. I'm, I'm having trouble even seeing what am I doing here. Well, yeah, I, you know, clearly I don't think it's a horrible game, and I, I like FromSoft. I just wish that game was more accessible. Like maybe there's a reason why it was like super talked about in that regard. That it just feels like it's walled off for basically just... What, what do we call them? Hardcore gamers? I'm trying to think of an unoffensive way to put it. Oh my god. Oh, it's responding to the Miyazaki thing. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a direct, like, that's not a direct quote or anything. I've just heard that that's something he said. I, I don't know how to feel about Elden Ring. I really don't. I mean, we barely know anything about it. Uh, but I would say, you know... It seems like they've been encouraged to go in similar directions that Sekiro went in. So I don't know. Oh, this sucks. I would say, somebody asked, is it harder than Dark Souls? I definitely would say so, yeah. 
Sekiro is like... It felt like the same difficulty as, like, the endgame bosses in the Dark Souls 3 DLC. To me, at least. This sucks. Is, I, I'm gonna do a few more attempts at this and then I'm, I'm just gonna skip the level, because I'm doing this in, like, practice mode. Also, somebody said this music's getting grating. What do you mean, you don't, like, every, like, two seconds? I think it's groovy. No, I absolutely know what you mean on it being grating. Also, this is amazing. It just never stops. So I need to skim. But there's a hole! There's a hole in the middle! I can't skim! I- oh, eee. 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 I'm giving this one more, like, whack of the ball. Oh my god. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. So, there, there's me venting about Sekiro. I really didn't enjoy it, and now I've got this easy mod stuck on, which honestly, I mean, I do like a bit of challenge. The thing is, I love challenging games. Like, I loved Fury. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be streaming a uh, Furier mode at some point, by the way. I won't be speedrunning it, but I'll, you know, it'll be a series. But I loved Fury, and that was like a fast-paced, like, action, like, parrying game. I just felt like Sekiro didn't really hit all aspects 100% perfectly. Which I'm not saying Fury did it perfectly either, I guess, but it just... I wish it had been more balanced and accessible for scrubs with lower reaction time, like myself. I'd like to represent the scrub demographic. Fuck. Okay, what happened to the pink things not being bouncy? That was a definite bounce. I'm sure this is something that's been said like a million times. Mm. Oh yeah, and I'll do the Fury DLC too. The, the DLC BT. Mmm. Hey. Boat across. Hold on, I'm looking at boat across. Late game. Mm. You know. Fury, when I started playing it, I was like, the way that it telegraphs attacks is so obnoxious. It like flashes a bright light and it goes like, Fring! like every time there's an attack about to happen. But that's so nice. That's so nice. And uh, I know that Sekiro has a very similar mechanic, but uh, it's in Japanese. And also it happens for much shorter periods of time. Oh, what the fuck? It, this, it says, a big game needs a big screen. Play it on your computer or try one of these games. I, I am on my computer. Fuck you. Okay, well, that was a disaster. What? No, okay. But with those, those fucking attacks, the like grab, sweep, or thrust attacks, the animations are too vague. And I don't know Japanese. Like, uh, so many of the animations, like, it's every single time it happens, no matter how much I practice it in Sekiro, it feels like every single time one of those, like, thrust, grab, or sweep attacks happens, I always, like, have figured out what it is and what to do, like, as the attack is happening. Like, with shocking 
predictability. Like, every single time, I'm always, like, I've realized, like, while it's hitting me. It's a lot to put together, and it, it, the Japanese character doesn't help. It happens so quickly before the attack. Okay, this is the final gauntlet. It happens so quickly before the attack, and I don't know that language. <laughs> Okay, what is... So this one apparently has it all. The final gauntlet. Oh. Yahoo! Yahoo! But yeah, so now that save file for Sekiro... Long story short, that save file for Sekiro is fucking ruined. Because now, like, every enemy goes down in, like, two hits. So, uh, whoops. But honestly, I'm not that motivated to play it, because I know it'll just be... It'll just lead up to, uh... Another obnoxiously difficult boss that will not feel satisfying to beat. Okay. I was also thinking... Everything having two health bars, it sounds fair, because it's like, you know, the bosses have two health bars, but so do you. But your own health bar is much smaller than a boss health bar. Like, maybe even, like, half as big as a, a boss health bar. So doubling both of them is really like, they get, like, quadruple health, and you get double health. Which I know sounds like semantic whining, and it is. Please just let me whine semantically, won't, won't you? Okay, oh, that's great. Oh, is it really the same character every time? I actually didn't know that. Okay, well, I'm not mad about that anymore. Still think it doesn't happen quite long enough before the actual attack. I need to stop doing that. Lack of weapons, and it felt like some everyone was meant to play it in one way only. Yeah, that... I definitely feel that. Oh. Yeah, whenever a perilous attack came up, it was always... I was always like... Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a thrust. And then I'm like already getting like swept or whatever. No one is meant to be good at it without tr hours of trial and error. Alright, well, have fun having hours of trial and error in your video games. I'll stick to Peggle. See, that was a joke, because Peggle has hours of trial and error. Oh wow, this level had it all, but it was pretty short. Oh, but this is the final gauntlet. Fucking understanding this. Like, look at this. So with the way the arrow is situated here, would it not make sense to shoot the ball up this side? That's where the gravity is going. Right? So why does... <laughs> I know it's like curving around, but what else can a man do? Shoot through the middle, maybe? Alright, well, we've tried two of the three viable options. Let's shoot it through here. That was it, yeah. Shoot it against gravity. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Thanks for the subscribe, McScrub22. I don't call them all out, but I like that name. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the subs. Okay, we did that. We did that. Golf physics. I wrangled it together. It was pretty fun. Pretty fun little game. Emphasis on little. Um... You know what, I think in one of these coming weeks, I will play one, like, long Flash game. So, like, Super Mario Bros. Crossover, or End the Way of the Ninja, one of those. Like a, like a long one. How long have I been streaming today, actually? Almost two hours! Almost two hours! 
Uh, I'll, I'll look over the suggestions and maybe we'll see him next week. Uh, okay, listen, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple of weird short ones. A few. I have a handful. This one is particularly short and stupid. This one's called, uh, actually, what is it called? It's a nice day today. Oh my god. Oh my god. Twitch. Twitch terms of service. Twitch terms of service. I forgot there's a penis in that. Oh no. Okay, well, he jerks off and then the sun burns the world, and there's literally no gameplay. I forgot that had a dick in it. Listen, nobody's got to go tell Mr. Twitch about that. Nobody's got to go tell Mr. Twitch. It was interpretive. You don't know that's a penis. It was a stick figure. It was this weird stick figure pe uh, pe penis. Okay, we're going to play Attraction. This one does not have any stick figure penises in it, as far as I recall. So this is a very simple one. I remember playing this a while ago, actually. You just avoid. You avoid these at all costs, but they're also, like, attracted towards you. <laughs> okay, I've got a good rhythm going. Look at this. Look at this rhythm. Oh my god, one of them's going fucking nuts. Oh god. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Oh god, this is a very simple concept. It's kind of addictive. I can't believe I forgot- I, I- I like saw that and somehow it like- I blanked out in my mind. That- that there was just a human cock in that game. It's whatever. I mean, we've seen, like, cartoon flash penises in Edmund M games, too, I guess. But basically, the I should have just, like, muted the window and then shown the, the actual gameplay. But basically, you, you like, play as the sun, and, the, and you're going along the, like, skyline, burning a bunch of homes, and people are, like, running out of their homes. I guess the sun gets mad because a dude jerked off? I don't know. It was so stupid that I wanted to show it, but somehow forgot the jerking off aspect. E. Oi, 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 oh. I feel like a ninja. See, this is fast-paced, fun gameplay. Sekiro, are you watching? All right, just kill me. Just kill me. All right, that was attraction. Very simple, very basic game. Brilliant. All right, all right. Uh, what's another one? Basteroids. This one is uh, asteroids, except it's it, it, it's bass. It's it's the fish bass. By Weasel Circus. I haven't vetted this one at all, so this might have cocks galore. Rotate worm. Oh, I'm playing a worm. Okay. Okay. Um, I can't move. Oh, here we are. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, the controls are terrible. The controls are terrible. I press back to move forward. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Giant fucking bass. You can't turn while shooting. You have tiny little, like, starting Super Metroid pistol shots. Okay. Also, why would you never activate, or why would you have your shield not activated? I don't understand. You're getting some nice loud spacebar sounds, I'm sure. It's not a penis, this is a worm! Chat. We don't need to talk about the incident. Okay? Okay. I, th I, I think I might have died, but I think I also won. This is miserable. So it's Asteroids, the game Asteroids, but, but with bass, fish. 
Blub. Oh, I can just hold down the button. That's cool. Let's see if we drift into each other. I'm gonna stop moving altogether. It's like the DVD logo. It's like an evolution of that. <gasps> Wait, come on! Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, get it! No! No! I don't know the rest of the fucking, like, waltz of the dumpling drops or whatever the fuck that one is. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Oh, no, it's gonna miss it. No! Okay. This is good. I, why am I still doing this? Please! No! 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 <laughs> They're not even swimming like real bass! Okay, well, that was another fine game by Weasel Circus. I think fine sums it up. Okay, now I'm gonna play Banana Grab, a game where you grab banana. <laughs> Catch as many, but these are literally just a bunch of games I, like, clicked on and, like, saw, like, a second of them, and I was like, I'll play it. Think you can catch all of them? Use the arrow keys to help Donkey Kong- oh, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Wait, what is this? I'm not moving. I'm like slapping the bananas to get them. I see. This is like, kind of like a rhythm game. And I don't want to slap the, the spiky coconut durians. Can I just like mash? I can just mash. Oh, shit. He hurt his hand. Oh, Yahoo! 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 Okay. Looks like you grabbed 121 bananas! We're doing literally one more play of this. I'm just dragging this out so it's two hours long, and then I'm gonna go off stream. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me for today's Flash Game Friday, guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing a grown man bitch about Sekiro. And also... Just, just play horrific things. Feed the head was nice. Uh, not so sure about Karchinko. Karchinko was a descent into madness. Let's keep it perfectly real here. I, th I, this one rainbow banana just could not get grabbed. It would not get grabbed. Okay, well, let's, let's listen to this music. That's some cool music. This background looks like it's from Sonic. Thanks for watching, guys.